This is the Wise Guy Radio Show, a podcast dedicated to educating and inspiring through conversations with today's top talents in the world of glass. We will be dissecting their journeys in hopes to deliver actionable content that you, the artist, can start implementing now, helping you grow not only as a creative spirit, but also a successful artistic entrepreneur. With a little organization, relationship building, and your artistic ability, you can obtain greatness. Climb aboard, whether an artist, retail owner, or enthusiast. We have a ton of fun in store for you. Welcome to the Wise Guy Radio Show. This episode of the Wise Guy Radio Show is brought to you by Mountain Glass Arts. For the month of April 2019, Mountain Glass is offering their Chinese rod and tube at 40% off. You can just get this with no coupon code needed. Just buy it at checkout. It's all taken care of for you. And if you're questioning about the Chinese rod and tube quality, I highly recommend this to anybody and everybody at any level of advancement. The one thing I will say is that the Chinese rod and tube, if you're looking for a high quality refraction and clarity in glass, uh, this is not for you if you're a marble maker or looking for uh, back stack sleeving, that kind of stuff. Um, it's definitely not the best in terms of uh, clarity and uh, that kind of refractiveness that we're looking for glass. But if you're a beginner, if you're do production, that's high-level production. Right now is the time to save a ton of money. It's now also the time to buy freight. You can get six to ten uh, cases put on a pallet, have it shipped to a local area distribution place, or if you have a studio, uh, it's a warehouse facility. They'll ship to you there directly, and it will save you a ton of money. I promise. And for all you beautiful soft glass nerds out there, they have their double helix sale at 15% off. Just use the coupon code Helix H E L I X at checkout. And also, if you have not yet heard, Mountain Glass is expanding their horizons and they are opening a new location out in Oregon. I believe, as I read, they will be starting off with a retail space and then eventually working out and getting a bigger space uh, uh, as they grow out there. Uh, so we now will have an East Coast and West Coast connection with Mountain Glass Arts. This is amazing to me, uh, not only for them as a company that I have spent a ton of money with and have been very dedicated to over the last 20 years of my life as a glass artist, but also it really goes to show you how the glass industry and the borough industry in particular is growing uh, in leaps and bounds and continues to grow. So congratulations to Mountain Glass for their expansion. And make sure if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you just go to mountainglass.com. That's mountainglass.com. Hey, welcome to the Wise Guy Radio Minute, Episode 5. The importance of taking care of your body and saving for emergencies. You ever bend over to pick something up and turn to look at something quickly and suddenly feel a sharp pain in your lower back? This is potentially a warning sign for back injury. According to thegoodbody.com, about 80% of adults are estimated to experience a back injury in their lifetime, with roughly 10% suffering a re-injury. This means it's more than likely that at some point in your life, you will experience some form of back injury. The cause for anyone experiencing low back injuries is generally due to not using the correct body posture and body mechanics combined with overuse. Currently, as I'm recording this, I'm experiencing a lower back injury caused by long days behind the torch, sitting or standing in awkward, unnatural positions, while repetitively going through the same motions producing the same item over and over again. This has led to a lower back strain that has become inflamed and debilitating to a point where I've had to take a few days off of work. Fortunately, I have the ability to take the time off knowing I'm still getting paid for the lost days. But if you don't have this opportunity, what would you do? If you don't have the option to decide whether or not you're willing to lose the revenue and rest, what decision are you going to make? Do you heal up and recover or just power through the pain? Or if you had a little bit of money tucked away for such an emergency, then what decision would you make? This leads me to several different topics that have been discussed in previous podcast episodes, but want to cover them briefly now. Topics that you need to ask yourself. Have you put any money aside for an emergency or injury fund? Are you willing to take several days off and just relax so you can heal? Do you have any form of health insurance? Do you get a regular deep tissue massage for regular maintenance? I'm asking you these questions because they are important to sustaining a lifelong career as a glass artist. Yes, these all cost money and can be quite expensive, but if you set yourself up with a financial plan and budget your time and money, you will be prepared for emergencies. 
Now is more important than ever to start taking these topics and implementing them into your life and routines. It's easier now than ever to start. Set up an online account that you can put away even just a small amount per week or month and don't touch it. How fast can you set aside $1,000? Break that down over four months. That's only 250 bucks a month or $60 a week. We all know how fast time flies and saving $1,000 will happen quickly. And just for a little bit of transparency, this is something I need to do as well. When it comes to your physical well-being, if you're not already taking this seriously, you need to. Besides the negative impact an unhealthy body has on your mental well-being, it also will lead you down the path of physical and physiological issues that can shorten your lifespan. You need to stop and really check yourself and find ways of starting some sort of physical routine outside of the studio. Even if it's just going for a walk in the morning while the studio is warming up. Try some yoga or jumping rope. Hell, I lost 30 pounds jumping rope. Make sure you're getting adequate sleep and are staying hydrated from water, not sodas and beer and all the other crap that's being shoved down our throats from today's marketing geniuses. We all need to understand for our community to thrive, we all need to work on ourselves so that as a whole, we can continue to grow and teach each other how to be the best version of us. Be prepared for emergencies and maintain your physical well-being and you, my friend, will have a long lasting thriving career as a glass artist. And this has been your Wise Guy Radio Minute.